class um, next year. Was it on? No, I stopped. I have to continue. It reached that 30 minute mark. If I have to restart again. Oh. Yeah, but the rest is still recorded though. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So you can start over that part if you want. So what? That part that you were talking about, you can start over if you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, another question too from the Instagram. Uh, what is something that people can do at home to promote bees? Um, I love planting, planting what's native. Um, planting what is native and what you think is beautiful and I'll plant what is native and what I think is beautiful and then the bees will have a great diet. Um, black locust is beautiful to me. It's a tree. Um, basswood, Tilia americana is another tree that's a great nectar producer. Um, those are trees. Um, you know, and then I, to this question of like, yeah, we can plant these nectar producing plants all day, every day, and it would be great. But, um, you know, there's something about the pollen producing plants as to what can we plant that is pollen producing. And that is actually a great question. What plants are pollen producing? Hopefully, um, in the next couple of weeks, I'll finalize some, some ideas that I had to do a little bit of a pollen study where... I want to put a pollen trap on some of my colonies that are across northern New Jersey, um, collect that pollen, identify that pollen, and to know what the bees are exploiting throughout northern New Jersey. And so, you know, let's plant more of that. Or we'll know where there are gaps inside of their pollen diet that, um, that need to be filled by something. And so then what plants produce pollen during these gaps? Well, we can figure that out and we can start to draw some conclusions. I had a, I had a one colony this year that, or last year, that um, had, it was a little weaker, so I dug a little deeper into it and did a full inspection, and then I noticed that there was not a drop of pollen in the hive. So what I did was I actually immediately gave it a pollen patty, so I fed it pollen, and then I put a queen on order, and within two weeks I got a queen and replaced that queen. And with the pollen patty and the new queen, all is well. The colony looks great now. But there was something weird about it. Um, I would have loved to know more. But um, that's why this interest in collecting pollen and knowing where there's gaps is something that I would like to know. Um, plant something. Put water out. Fake hives to keep hornets away. Um, another question from Instagram. Um, yeah, you can put water out. If you're a beekeeper, you're required to put water out. Um, to provide your bees with a water source is something totally necessary. And um, the fake corner thing, that's, that's I don't know, that's paper bag, something TikTok promoted. And um, I think that's, I don't know, that's not for honeybees. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so um, to recap. I talked a bit about the, you know, problems that are associated with packaged bees. And I really hope that if you're a new beekeeper, you go with nukes, um, either from me or a credible um, dealer. Uh, you know, there are people out there, I should say, there are people out there, my mentor, um, she does replace all of her hives, or used to at least, um, replace all of her hives with packages and, and was incredibly successful. And so, you know, she's successful. So she, she tends to recommend it, but like she knows what she's doing and she's sharp. <laughs> so like those, that sharpness is tough to gain and she has it and it's just tougher. I think it's worth $500 worth. And so I, I don't, that's that. I think I've, I, I nailed that into the head. And the uh, 1823 project, you know, like I think us as a society are just like, totally addicted to the phone. And I know sometimes I am. And, you know, I, if I'm saying sometimes I am, it's like saying I sometimes have a drinking problem. But it, yeah, I sometimes am addicted to the phone and it comes in waves. And it's like I need to. Um, get off the freaking phone sometimes and and focus on this amazing space rock we have. 
so yeah, like we live on a space rock, you know? Last week I had oysters and citrus. Super cool. If this was 1823, that would have been such a rare thing to have a lemon in North Carolina as a, a, you know, you, as a Jersey guy. Um, super cool. And I would be, I, I, we live like some of the wealthiest people ex lived in 1823. And it's the phone that distracts us, or at least me from from that reality so uh yeah so next week i'm going to be talking about i believe some equipment things i'm going to be talking about um the need to like what you need to do before your bees show up um and hopefully i'm going to have a guest or two in the, the coming episodes so I'm going to be live on Instagram um, Wednesdays and hopefully get this thing posted at least by Friday morning. And um, yeah, so thank you so much. I'm going off. Boop. And now, doop. And uh, I'm going to turn this off. Are you done? Yeah, dude. Alright. And this one, how do you turn this off? Yep. Yeah.